Hello, friends. Like, let's time to stay today. We're going to be playing Lulu Legendary Lab of Legends. Uh, let's get into it. Uh, we might have to do some retire runs coming. Because she's been giving me a lot of problems lately. I'm going to retire this. Retire... Honestly, I've, I've been having a lot of issues with her, so it's like, I want to see something really strong, like Poro, Sapling. I actually had a failed out of the gates run. There should be a little timestamp where you can skip to the start of this, depending on how long this goes on. Give me Poros or give me death. Or Sapling. Yips. Nah, that act's not a great Yips deck. Pleased to meet you too, Lulu. What will break first? <laughs> My will or the game holding out? There we go, Poros, alright. Poros is a gooder for sure. Gives you a lot of insulation against, um... The vulnerable deck for sure. Spiders, etc. Get out of here, get out. God, I hate this new UI update. X, I thought I mulled you. All right, get in there. Um, yep, just play it. <laughs> Ooh, double fearsome. Double fearsome. What does it mean? Trade him off. I'm gonna play young witch. Um, before attacking. Oh, what a what a godly hit! All right, no withering whale. Actually, that kind of sucks. Um, it's a ghost. Alright, now they get bad draws. So we might take some damage. I might I might twin disciplines just to keep our stuff alive if they open bash. They do not. Let's just uh play picks. Uh fake guide picks. Ooh, that's annoying. That's annoying. Now they're chipping away at our board. Block, block, block. At least we're up on board. Alright, uh, is this sorry lethal? Sorry, what's this? That's only six? Not quite. Smashy, smashy. Alright, let's see what they do here. We have lethal. Yep, just barely. Hopefully they don't have Withering Whale or something. Alright, GG. Eat Spooters without taking damage. Alright, let's see. What do we... Oh no, we are not taking this package. Crimson Awakener is like kind of unplayable in our deck. Uh, Urchin could be interesting. Yeah, Lulu's not a very good Kindred deck. Let's just 
begrudgingly take this Jinx urchin package. It's not worth using a reroll there, in my opinion. Um, you want to save your rerolls for passive powers, especially now that we have Poro. Um, Yips is a good candidate, Domination's a good candidate. God, I loathe this. Uh, Mist Wraiths. I just keep double green glade duo. Ugh. This card's so bad. Uh, smash. What the fuck? <laughs> Oh, wow. What a hit. Alright, we're taking six, which is fucking obnoxious, I tell you what. Um, I'm just... Hmm. Lulu is essentially pseudo removal here. I think we go with Green Glade. Because they're technically blockers. And let's just attack here for six. Get them nice and low. And we end up with six mana, so we can use twin disciplines to block. Actually, this got excited, it's pretty decent. Uh, so we have two blockers here. We can obviously just jump this. We can jump that pretty easily. Uh, we just need to kill one of these Mistwraiths to knock the damage. So I'm thinking Lulu. And maybe I get excited. Uh, so how does this look? Actually, keep you alive. So maybe here, here. Block, block, block. I do like the idea of keeping the Lulu alive to use this combination to snipe some mist wraiths. Maybe we'll just, yeah, just get excited here, keep these these alive. Uh, also, we could maybe do... No, I don't think we quite have enough to kill him. Let's discard that. Young Witch would have been nice, actually. Uh, I don't think she'd have fit into the curve at any point. But you sorry, uh, Young Witch lets you start abyssing them down. Abyss is a magic card that essentially kills a creature someone controls every turn. It's like a non-artifact. Uh, let's open with you sorry. And then if they play a Mist Wraith or something... Okay. So Lulu, Challenger, pull. Attack, attack. No point in pulling. Can't believe they turned one Mist Wraith me. It's so rude. Only Poro is now Jubilant Poro. Mist Wraith. Hey, guide. Chump. For trade. Only one. And two. Smashy, smashy. Alright, Poros is a good power, I tell you what. I tell you what. Alright, so now we battle Thresh, the big, the big B word. Ah, uh -huh. chest progress, hooray. Hmm, ooh. Ooh, this is big. Honestly, I'm not even sure which one is correct. We don't have domination yet, so we don't get to attack on the Jinx turn. 
don't really know how relevant that is. You know, I think I'm kind of leaning towards Arch Archangel Staff uh, Jinx. Because there's like some really cool synergy where you can, you know, uh, Turbo Flipper. And then start doing some dumb stuff. I haven't really done that. And it's like, I've, I've done the games where you like... Yeah, I think this is better. Also, I really don't like her. Uh, the centering seems weird. Right, because normally they centered cards. This is weird. I don't think this is how they used to do it. I thought these were a little over, or maybe they're just super big. Anyways, they patched. Uh, her champion spell sucks. I, I'm not really a big fan of it. It's okay, but like... Whereas this, like, actually works with Jinx. Yeah, let's... I'm gonna do this. I think this is way cooler and actually a bit better. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. This is really... Actually, th this pick is fan-fucking-tastic. Uh, like, Draven's obviously super efficient, works really well with the Jinx plan. Mystic Shot's just efficient removal, and it makes, um... Like, Spell Slinger or Sorcery really good picks, because now... We kind of want to, like, empty our hand and flip Jinx if we see her, so getting our spells nice and cheap and easy to get out of our hand will be good. And obviously Spirit's Refuge is just a, like, god-tier card for labs since it gives you a uh, lifesteal. And I think I'm gonna pick uh, Spirit's Refuge. It's definitely kind of like the lower power level safer pick, but I think that's kind of what you need. Especially now that we have Poros. Like, we have a pretty good early game. We just kind of want to, like... Make sure we can hodl. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna I'm go with Refuge, but these are also very reasonable as well, in my opinion. I think that's a bit of a close one. Closer than regular, than normal. Hmm, that's so weird. And control ZM away. Alright, they start with a Warden thingy in play. I think we're gonna need Spirits Refuge for this match. I'm not a fan of Twin Disciplines. Let's do something like this. Ooh. Come on, hit. It'll be Soul Shepherd. Can't get that lucky. Ooh, actually, picks would have... Well... Oh, wow, they've changed... Huh, they changed a lot. Alright, let's pass. Let's pass. Here's some Poro. Bomb Beast. Dark Chariot, Smash Smash. Alright, Gringlay Duo. I am fine with this trade to slow them down, actually. I think this is a loose attack on their part. And now we can play Lulu and snipe the next thing they play. We go to 21, which isn't the worst. I have not seen this card in a long time from them. kind of forgot about it. All right, we have we have gained the tempo. Thanks. We'll chump with uh one of the poros, maybe even both. Um. Yeah, I like giving Lulu elusive just so she can attack properly. Block, block, block. No point in taking excessive damage. Little geest. Uh, we're gonna pull for sure. I want to open attack just so they don't get to uh, play thrush, and we can get them to one, so we can just get excited. We can even twin disciplines. Yeah, let's twin disciplines the Fey guide. Nah, let's wait. 
I might like grasp or yeah okay uh yeah let's swim disciplines the fey guide get them to one then get excited them We'll discard the bigger card, just so we could, uh, get closer to Jinx flipping on the next few turns. It's not relevant. You kinda wanna start getting into the, he the headspace of, like, technically correct Jinx flipping lines. And it warms you up for later in the run. This is trash, right? Your deck is not a good, uh, Trafarian Might deck. Uh, I don't think Dragon's Rage is where we wanna be either. And I don't like flexible game plan at all. Yeah, this is an easy reroll. There's actually a lot of good cards we could get. Empty Mind sucks in my opinion. Like maybe we could get it to work with Jinx, but it's super niche. And, like it's only good when we assemble a Rube Goldberg machine. I actually don't mind Sorcery. It's like a very, um... How do I say this? Actually, Sorcerer kind of sucks, the more I think about it. We only have, what, 8 spells? 8 spells out of 27, so it's like... About like 37%-ish, something like that. 1.1... 1, 1, 1.3.5 of the deck. And we're not, like, good at, like, spending our spells and then rerolling. Ugh. Yeah, I'm gonna reroll this. Domination's fine, where's my... Power to match my health. Duelist is also neat, uh, just because, like, Jinx can snipe shit down. Our uh, Poros plus Lulu can snipe shit down. Um, Domination doesn't... Like, it has synergy with Poros, but it's not necessarily Imba or anything. You know, I'm a... I think I'll take Duelist. Our challenging Poros can get quite annoying. It does suck that we don't get to challenge every turn. Yeah, but I do like the upsides. And if we get Domination on the next reroll, and it is kind of weird, like, taking the common over the rare, but I think Duelist is going to help us out in the next few fights more than Domination will. Another spell. Uh, Key Guardian's just good eating, right? We took Challenger, right? Yeah. Let's take Key Guardian. Natural synergy there. Maybe we could have put more thought on the sorcery pick, but... Oh uh, no, Ionia spells kinda suck. Obelitics is being dumb, I can't control Z close it. Uh, Hunters, actually... Hmm. Yeah, that's fine. I think. Let's just snipe him off. Take your blood money. Yeah, Poros is Poros should be really good against this stack. If they play Frost Archer to kill this, we are a okay with that. Interesting. I don't mind banking here. I don't also also don't mind blocking here. Yeah, we can use picks to kill this next turn. Oh, I'm dumb. I should have played it. That was a punt on my end. Exclamation point punt if you're live. <laughs> you're watching live. Um yeah, I should have played. I should have just played picks. Um. Oh, they didn't even gain a mana. Yeah, fuck it. We'll just trade a Poro off. And by trade a Poro off, I mean have the Poro kill the 3 2. Now, where 
Mm-hmm. Very, very good. Yeah, I'll just fucking bounce it. Whatever. It's not getting much better. Sorry. Bolalnuk. So you can go there. Pump you sorry so it doesn't die to Poro herder. Something like this to play? Get a good hit in. Riddle their board. Yeah, sure. Sure. This could work. Not fair. All right, we'll use Twin Disciplines to keep Jinx alive, I guess. Or trade. Block there, take three, go to 23. I guess we're not really anywhere near flipping Jinx. Our hand's so, so thick. So we can just kill him next turn, right? Green Glade Duo. Daring Poro. Yeah, just juice up the Green Glade Duos. Alright, they are dead. Um, we also aren't doing so well in the run that we can just... Um... Try to dig for a Spirit's Refuge to get to full health. Guess we could have had, like, you sorry for... Uh. Yeah, maybe, maybe we could have tried to, like, draw this out a little. We'll see if we get punished against Scargrounds. Scargrounds might be... Or was against Scargrounds is kind of weird. <sighs> when I'm supported, when I summon an elite, granted, granted 1-1. So we'll make a 3-3 ephemeral thingy. Um, I think Boom Crew Rookie is kind of the only reasonable pick here. Is a 1 mana 3-2 good? 1 mana 3-2, that becomes... Like, this fucking deck just doesn't have a lot of support either. I'll just take the, like, 2-4. Those are reasonable stats, they can block. Ooh. Yes, the saber is a bit of a dud. Um, X is neat. Also, now that we're past um, what's it called? The vulnerable, the hunter's deck. It's a lot better. I'm gonna just take spirits refuge though. Uh, kind of like, like the entire spiel I gave about it before applies again, right? We get three. We can get really good at like finishing our runs at full health. Um, Mix is actually kind of low synergy, and I, I guess with like one mana attacking Poros, maybe. Yeah, you know, let's try it out. I think you could go either way there.
All right, there we go. Um, actually, a 5T is like kind of reasonable. Yeah, this hand's pretty, pretty reasonable. Yeah. All right. This was this was not bad. Even if they have um, elixir of iron, it's fine. And they don't, which is good. Barrel Mystic pass. Uh, I'm a, I'm a block. Because now with our thingy, we can we can fight it. I'm gonna just open with this in case they have like the two four. Good, good. Feels bad, man. Do we just get excited this? Cause it gets kind of fucking annoying. Like I, I kind of like this uh, snipe everything they have down line. Um, so let's just trying to figure out what we're gonna discard to get excited. Probably scaled snapper. Uh, just cause next turn we can go Jinx Fey Guide. They have the elixir of iron here. I would be. Ooh. The Reno. Like, they just would have held on to that for fucking ever. Uh, Key Guardian Yasari is actually fucking sick. Avalanche. Uh, we'll just chump. Only one mana. Um, I don't think there's any point in, you know, yeah, fuck it, let's try it out. If we give Pixelusive, then it can do more shenanigans. Block there, block there. Pass. Yeah, so we can challenge. Alright, let's... All right, no, um, no, uh, uh, what was I afraid of? Avalanche? Oh, no. I was afraid of something. They didn't have it, though. All right, smashy, smashy. All right, this 0-4 picks with, like, challenging pours every round was, is pretty good. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, we gotta start using these Spirits Refuges. Gain some health. Okay, so... You can go there, because you're not gonna die. No overwhelm damage. You go there, kill it. You go there, and we'll Spirits Refuge you, so you kill it. So kill, kill, kill. We only lose one unit, right? Yeah. Up to 26. Feels good. You don't have him dead, right? Eh. Alright, I guess we do have him dead. Let's... Alright, Spirit's Refuge, are you sorry? That's gonna go... Uh, I guess technically... Technically, it's like... What, like here, here... Get excited. Spirit's Refuge, and then we get excited their face. So we gain more life, and it's bigger than, um, you know, uh, Brittle Steel. Brittle Steel can't kill it. Alright, we finished a 30. 
This bodes well for the Sejuani fight. Actually, also, now we can, um... Yeah, those Spexes are decent, because now we can try to kill the Weirding Stones, too. Alright, we're not taking Mana Health. Or, uh, Health Potion. I was going to say Mana Potion. Um... I don't know, I'm kind of feeling the spoils of war. It's definitely between Static Shock and Spoils of War. I think Static Shock's like going to be better against the turret stack. Yeah, maybe we don't need uh, Spoils because Poro Snacks is kind of meh. I kind of want to try this out though. I like I, I don't think I've actually ever cast the spell Spoils of War. And I think, like, making picks bigger, or, like, just making a unit permanently bigger. Like, plus 2 plus 4 is, like, a very big game. So, let's try out this Mimi Spoils. Ooh. Big draws. Big, big, beautiful draws. Honestly, I'm kind of feeling the Urchin. Since it's kind of like pseudo-removal. Like, if we can pump this with a challenger or whatever, let us uh, challenge some of the early units a little better. Hmm, yeah. Just having good turn one plays, I can kind of see being the thing to do. Not a fan of... I don't know. These are all kind of excellent. But... Actually, Key Guardian might be a bit too fucked up in our deck. Since we're really good at, since we have Duelist, we can just play it on, like, you know, a Scaled Snapper and snipe something down. It's, like, double value. Hmm. Alright, I'm just gonna take Urchin. Don't want to hold up too much theorizing. for I uh, yeah I do not like that okay at least like unlike in hearthstone you can actually hover over and see stuff a little clearer and just get the pop-up uh so we get the poro we hit it for three so if they play a turn to ember maiden their stones will die spoil seems fine urchin can't not be good It might be a very good turn 3 play, because of Challenger. I think this is... Ugh. So next turn, say they play Ember Maiden. They still get enough mana, because they get the mana on round start, so I'm pretty sure Rooting Stones will still give them mana, they'll still go up to 4. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we could... Fine, fine. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the right play is. Because I don't want to put 3 damage on this either. We'll probably bank two this turn. Yeah, between Urch. Okay. Let's pass. I think, I think this is the block. We know they're going to be able to Wolf Rider. We just need to be able to make sure we can kill this stupid thing. It's kind of the big... The big deal. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, yeah, for sure. I'll, t I'll I'll trade three damage to get damage on here. Essentially, let's pass. Everything takes one. Our challenger Poro dies. Rip. They're up to four. 
Hmm. Very tricky, actually. I think we're I think we're going to discard spoils of war. Which, like, you know, kind of feels bad as the pick. But I am playing to win, so... Alright, so we definitely need to kill Brooding Stones. So, picks... Picks and that is going to go there. Um... And I'm pretty sure we just have to actually kill, uh... The stupid Ember Maiden. Because there's no point in losing... More boardy goodness. So we can just play... Another Urchin... Right? Yeah, it's like if I play Young Witch, I don't quite... I don't get to quite... If I play Young Witch, it's like Young Witch can give this quick attack, and Young Witch could go there, and that... Eh, I guess that works, technically. Like, we could do this. We still... We still kill the two things, and yeah, we keep we keep our stuff. We keep one thing alive. There's no point in picks attacking because it's just gonna get Sudoku, right? Like this, in theory, maybe we could do another way. We could do it is like this, but we but we have to kill the rooting stones. So yeah, I like I like that I like that more. Like, they're still doing decently, right? They still have a Wolf Rider in play and all that stuff, but... Kinda need them to... <laughs> halt Citizen. Jinx. Babbling Beerg. Oh yeah, it's just for this turn. Play Lulu. Alrighty. So... Very definitely gonna want to use picks and something. Like, I think I think this... We want to save to kill Wolf Rider next turn. Maybe we just do something like this. Yeah, this seems fine. And then we can use our Poro we get. Challenge. Have Lulu. Lulu's uh, supported Poro kill this, and these kill this. Get in for seven. And then they could play like Sejuani, and then we could start doing some stuff. I think this is good. You take five going to 20. We are going to be healed to full after this fight, so... You don't have to be mega scared. Oh, I'm an idiot. I forgot this can't challenge anymore. So I think we do have to play an urchin. And then they get to Sejuani and... Eh. Yeah, I probably should just get excited. And... Did, 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 did. Alright, so uh, let's you go there. And I definitely, I think I still want to open attacks so that they can't play stupid, um, Sejuani beforehand. Maybe this. And then whatever they put Wolf Rider on, we can do some shenanigans. This is like the only bad block. Because Lulu goes to a 4-2. Yeah. We keep the Poro, which is... Ah, fuck the Poro. Fuck the Poro. Uh, we don't care about this card. Like, a 4-3 is kind of irrelevant. 
Um, I guess this is just a fine opportunity to whimsy. Because we have so many blockers for non-overwhelm units. So I can just flip Jinx here, right? I can get excited and then urge and discard get excited. Are any of these Jinxes? Yeah, so I guess we'd rather shuffle a Jinx in the deck. What a unexpected way to potentially win this uh win this run. Yeah, honestly, I, I don't think I'll mind picking up a sorcery. Sajwani. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this we don't care about. Block, block, uh, Will of Ionia bounce. I think we just kill him on the open, right? Challengey, challengey. Yeah, they should just be fucking dead, right? Is she making the machine gun sound? <laughs> All right, GG. Get fucked, Sejuani. Get fucked. All right, we played one creator card. We're making some good progress. Ooh. Do we think Domination's good? Domination's probably fine, right? Um, since we have challenging Poros every turn, we get to, like, yeah, it's actually probably just Domination, because, uh, now they have Heimerdinger and Professor Yips, Von Yips, so we kind of need to, like, uh, like, send a Poro at it, and then probably send, like, another unit at it to make sure we don't get totally overwhelmed. Yeah, I think it's just, I think it's just Domination. A little boring, but, eh, what can you, what can you do? All right. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Twin Shadows has got to be fucked, right? Because we get double... Yeah, I actually really like Twin Shadows Lulu. Because they each have Challenger, right? So they can double support and double challenge. Like, like the ephemeral... Yeah, th this has got to be the pick. Just so gas. Whereas, like, the double Jinx doesn't actually do a whole lot. Like... Maybe if we assemble some, like, crazy Rube Goldberg machine, we can, like, double flip Jinx the same turn and get double rocket, but that's, that's, it's very ambitious. Whereas this is, like, this will just always be really excellent. Playing two challenging units on the same turn, getting two supports, turbo leveling Lulu, like, come on, be real. And we'll get, yeah, yeah, that's, that's mad. Press up on yips. We kind of have to keep that one. We'll keep urchin. Maybe I could have like aggro mulligan for picks. Okay. Let's start getting the damage on him. Pump of Wumps. 
Oh, yeah, 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 because their power makes everything cheaper. Kind of nonsense, but what can you do? All right. Uh, we don't need this, sorry. Actually, we probably don't need one of these fucking Lulus, let's be real. Uh, I'm gonna play the other Urchin, since the odds of them having drawn a removal spell is, like, pretty reasonable, because they did Death Ray. Okay. This is not the worst opening. Like, this board is very manageable. Go, Lulu. Oh, that's dead. <sighs> All of our Lulus die. Was it stupid to discard a Lulu? Yeah, attack in such a way that if they want to block, they have to do that. Uh, rip. Right, we're gonna take some damage. But you see, it's it's doing its job. I guess we have get excited. We're gonna burn a card, right? I might just get excited this to. Oh fuck off! Fuck you! Feels bad, man. Alright, let's play... Hmm. I guess we just play Jinx, I'm being dumb. Yeah, let's just get excited. I mean, uh, Spirit's Refuge. Oh wow, this is sick. I totally forgot how... Oh, we have Domination and we get double life steal. We're at 28. That's fucking sick. And the opponent's gonna help us drawing more, more good stuff. Alright, picks. So we're gonna play double, double Lulu. Yeah, we have four fucking challengers right now. Absurd. So this will be a 5-5, five, five, right? Yeah. Yeah, puts the least damage on our... Yep. Yeah. This is the attack, I'm pretty sure. Double picks, what does it mean? Or double Lulu, what does it mean? Alright. Burn a card. No, 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 this is bullshit. Fuck you. You're so unlucky. Alright, let's uh, play for damage. Get him to seven. Oh, 
calculated something something. Death ray. Yeah, sure. Ah, that was dumb. I should have, uh. Nah. It's whatever. Bump of Wumps. They can still attack. We have good blocks. I can't believe they mulled our Spirit's Refuge. So dirty. They discarded two Coronas. Alright, so we can do a pull too. Fuck. What the fuck? Four damage. We drew half of our puffs in two draws out of 14? This game's fucking rigged. Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. I'm sure we could have supported better. You are dead. Alright, GG. 23, we got robbed. I maintain. Me and Mushroom Puffs are like... It's so outrageous. It's like every time I play them in, in uh, Expedition, opponent never takes any damage. Every time my opponent plays them, whew. better believe. Alright, so we're playing against turrets now. Um, we have Poros. Poros makes the matchup so good. Uh, Key Guardian could be a fine thing just to like make sure we can snipe off some of the harder... Uh, I don't even know, man. Honestly, probably the pick is get excited, just so we can, um, keep some of the elusive units down against Victor. Like, I don't think this turret's matchup should be that hard. He says before dying to turrets. Hmm. Uh, yeah, we gotta keep the picks, so we can kill Heimerdonger. Which is hence probably just a keep, let's be real. Let's be fucking real. Just, uh, just kill this little Heimerdinger here. Okay, you got a turret. A reasonable one, too. You might open bash. Nah, we probably have to wait, because they have the quick attacker, right? Yeah. Wow. How oh, nuts. I guess we chump. Chump the 5-3. Turkey. Take three, go to twenty. Oh, this is bad. Then we use this to kill here, this can kill there, or even here. Okay. Actually it's yeah. I think we're going to want to keep two of our thingies alive. To, uh, for double Lulu buffs. Wait, did I pull the wrong one? No. Hmm. 
Oh well. Eh well. That's kind of annoying being down to 19 already. Well, at least our Lulu's gonna level. There. Okay, their board actually kind of sucks. <laughs> what are the best things to kill? Yeah, th this seems reasonable. Maybe it's this? Yeah, it's probably this. Alright, we wipe the board. Happy to do whatever is needed. Ooh. Exalted Poro. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, what a fucking Chad. Look at this guy. Look at this little thing. Look at it. Look, look at that lifesteal keyword. How can one... How can one be so lucky? Um... Five, so you could go here, here, here... Here, here... Yeah, like, um, maybe like that... I guess we can't pull everything? Gain some more health. We'll just use uh, spoils, I guess, to keep it, keep our Lulu alive. I got nothing. Alright, let's gain some life arena. Eh, you know what? Let's let's play something else. Just play I guess we don't really have let's let's play Urchin discarding Daring Poro. So you go here, you go there, oh, uh, Pix goes there, you go here, you go here. Alright, there we go, now we figured it out. Now we've got the big aggro. Alright, we're 27. Um, you can just spank. Huh? Just play Green Glade Duo. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this Chad, look at this unit. Uh, let's barrier our life stealer. Alright. Just chump it away. It's fine. Smash, 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 smash. Okay. At least we go to full first. That's what's important. Let's uh, change this track.
Where's the good one? 3-3, three, three, but ephemeral, fuck off. Fuck right off. Yeah, there we go. Alright. So we are not taking the ephemeral thingy. Not taking Key Guardian, let's just take Golden Spatula, Young Witch. Finish the run with a... Reroll left. The powers of retire run scumming. Yeah, seems good. It's just small for the broken cards. The Lulus, etc., etc. Armed Gearhead, alright. Oh, it's got Giant Spelt. Well, let's soften it up. Like this, we can take some damage. Iterative Improvement to make a 1-1. Not bad. Guess we'll get our scout hidden first. Nah, this is probably better, right? Snipe here. We'll have a 2 1. We're not a scoot stack. Ah, what do we want to kill? Probably this, right? Let's play a big, powerful Lulu. Oh shit, this'll uh, level up, too. Fuck yeah. Alright, so they've just, like, runnered the gearheads. This one's gonna be tricky. So, this'll just level them up. So we want to challenge these two, so they don't get to do anything. Or pump there, be something like this. Uh, we want this to challenge the four or five. Now what's gonna get pumped here? Maybe just Young Witch, and then Lulu will have four power, and then this. will challenge a 4-4. Four, four. And because this will be a 5, yeah, I can, yeah, there we go, there we go, we figured it out. It took us a couple minutes, but we, uh, we got there. I don't know if we need it to Sudoku the picks. Poro, 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 Poro. Eh. Level up, level up. Look at that little cape. Look at that little cape. Fury, overwhelmed, fearsome. Eh, not as, not as chadtastic as before. Tell you what. Uh, I think we just take the four. Mm. Let's play boom. Boom boom. Tor. Oh, it's a four six, eh? Why is that, eh? Okay, 
Okay, maybe we bury or something. Uh, three, so we could go like that. Yeah, okay. Barrier. Put three damage on BB. Pull you over there. You get in there. And we'll put five damage on Victor. Interesting. Alright, so now we can kill their stuff. Give you vulnerable, I guess. It doesn't really matter. So what has Challenger? This one. You go there. Oh wait, no, no. Get that big... Oh, it won't, won't work, eh? Fine. Why is guy, eh? Down to eight? Alright, sounds good. Damn. Sadly, this exalted Poro is not completely gonna own the game. Got him on the ropes! I just want to draw cards, okay? I'm sure this is not how, to, how you optimally play the turn, but regardless, we fucking kill him. GG. All praise to retire run scumming for the Poro power, I'd say. Uh, the Jinx was sick. And Shadows was pretty good on Lulu. Duelist was good. I do like the Duelist pick over Domination when we did it. Got kind of lucky to get Domination at that very end. Yeah, we didn't really make anything crazy. We just like kind of spread the power out through our throughout the deck. Uh the picks like the fact we got Poro Duelist made picks like kind of a Rube Goldberg machine way of killing their early units they start with. So I really like that. Yeah, that's it. So if you uh like the VOD, click subscribe to my channel for more Lab Legends content. The new patch is coming out tomorrow. It might be today, depending on when the VOD gets pushed. So you could check it out then. Click like. See you next time. Bye.